The technology that we're developing is called solar thermal photovoltaics. And the concept is to harness first the solar energy in the form of heat to then eventually generate electricity. In this particular device, we have a novel absorber emitter. So it's an intermediary converter before it gets converted to electricity via a photovoltaic device. This is the first time that we've been able to incorporate nanophotonic surfaces into the absorber emitter. In, in our experiment, we start with a light source that simulates the solar spectrum and we focus it down to high solar intensities. This light is absorbed and turned into heat and it results in thermal re-radiation towards the PV cell. And what we're taking advantage of is photonic crystal based emitter design where then this is, allows us to do the tuning of the emission towards a band gap of the PV cell. We've been able to demonstrate about three times better efficiencies than what's been previously demonstrated experimentally. And we think near term that we can reach close to 20% efficiencies, which is just relying on the existing components that we have used, but just scaling up and introducing some additional filters. And once you reach about 20% conversion efficiencies, in fact, we've come now competitive with photovoltaics. This suggests there is a path for the success of this technology in the future. Even if it realizes only comparable efficiencies to PV cells, it offers the benefit of potential on-demand power generation, meaning that that heat that's generated from this process can be stored for later use, for later power generation.